Well, good morning, y'all. Here we go again. Another great day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and you should be too. We're going to get back to work, getting this stuff ready. Today, I think I'm going to work on the transfer switch for the generator. And I'm also going to be doing some plumbing, and we'll see probably some more sheetrock. All right, y'all keep watching. Let's get to work. Okay, y'all, that's it for now. You saw me finish up that little bit of sheetrock in there and then do this plumbing for the washer and the shop sink. So that's it for right now. We gotta head to town, get a haircut, and then we'll be back. Hey, y'all, we're back. Okay, we've been back for a while, but uh, it was just too stinking hot. It was 112, 115 degrees in here, literally. So we, did some work in the camper, edited some video, stuff like that. But now it's only 103 degrees in here, inside. So, and of course it's like convection oven with the fans blowing, but whatever, we're gonna get back at it. You guys keep watching, we're gonna get to work. Okay, y'all, that's it for tonight. I uh, didn't get the switch in. Well, I got the switch in, obviously not connected, and the plug on the outside is not connected. The input plug, but uh, it's getting too dark out, can't see, so we'll finish that thing tomorrow. Uh, probably not gonna wire in all the circuits tomorrow. Basically, I'm just gonna get this in and kind of put in and ready to go for spray foam. Just like everything else, I'm just getting ready for spray foam. All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, good morning, y'all. Well, here we go again, back at it. It's another great day that the Lord has made. Take a look over here. It's nice and bright and early. Got the sun starting to peak up just a little bit over there, coming up. I don't know if you guys can see the, the crescent moon, Venus. Pretty cool. But we're getting ready to do some work out here. It gets just a little bit lighter, but I'm gonna do some work on the inside before then, getting ready. Finish mounting this generator plug, inlet plug. You guys keep watching, let's get back to work. Okay y'all, transfer switch is in as much as I'm putting it in. I'm not hooking up the circuits at this point because I haven't identified which circuits we want to. But next thing is we're gonna go ahead and hook up the water heater, wires, and then this thing will be ready to go for the water here. And this thing will be ready to go for spray foam. Y'all keep watching, let's get back to work. Okay y'all, we got the dryer circuits in. Let's turn them on and see if we got voltage in the water room. All right, let's go. All right, y'all, we're in the water room. We got our non-contact voltage detector. Let's make sure it works. And it works. So now we should have power on all four of these wires. Looks good. Now we're gonna put some wire. I don't have wire nuts. Well, I do have some wire nuts that'll fit on there. So we're gonna put some wire nuts on there and then turn those breakers back off because we're not ready to wire in the water heater yet. So keep watching, let's get back to work. Okay y'all, finally, we got another room. All the sheet rocks hung, obviously not taped, mudded, Blah, blah, blah. I don't even know that we're going to do that. We might hire that out. We'll see. We're going to get some bids anyways. All right. Y'all keep watching. Next thing is I'm going to run the water line, supply lines, 
from the shower back to the water room. Y'all keep watching. Let's get to work. Okay, y'all. Well, I got my holes drilled for the shower. Got the cold water just kind of sitting over here, lying set over here. I'm going to take a break, get something to eat, come back and finish running those water lines. At least get them in place. Y'all keep watching. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. Here we go. Lunch is over. Time to get back at it. Hooking up this plumbing. Y'all keep watching. Let's get to work. Okay, y'all. We got all our water lines run into the top of the closet. Now I'm going to work on the bracket that's going to hold all these things and organize them to where they come down to our manifolds. So that's what we're going to do now is build a bracket. Y'all keep watching. Let's get back to work. Hey y'all, check it out. All right, I got all my water lines, PEX lines run and organized as you saw. So this is pretty close to being 100% ready. I need to put a cover board pretty much over the top here and then we'll be ready to go. Nana's in the other room, covering screws, doing some cheat rock stuff. I'll keep watching, we're gonna get back to work. Okay, y'all, there you go. That's it for today. We're whooped. Got our insulation decking in, our water lines all in. We pretty much got everything ready for the insulators, with the exception of pulling out the flue down there. So, but I think that's it for today. We're whooped. Hey, y'all, here we go again. Check it out. Well, we finally got a little cool snap. High today is only supposed to be about 87 where it's been over 100 every day for I guess about the past week. So we're looking forward to that. Today I plan on getting the flue down and insulating around the chimney thimble where it goes through the wall up there. And then I also got one little spot on the roof I got a patch, not really patch, put some caulking on that we missed when we were up there last week. So y'all keep watching, let's get to work. Okay y'all, there you go, that's it. That officially wraps up my to-do list to be to done before the installation insulators come to do their thing. So it's to done, it's all done. Now we gotta start back on doing other things that we can do that aren't gonna interfere with the insulators. And those things will probably be like working in the water closet and stuff and starting to move stuff out of here, getting it cleaned out so that when they get here, all they gotta do is get to work and insulate, do their prep work, covering everything, things that aren't supposed to be sprayed, stuff like that. So I told them I would have this place cleaned out as far as all my tools and equipment and stuff goes and they take care of the rest. So that's kind of what we're doing now or next. So we're fixing to start moving everything out, clearing this place out. Got a call from the insulation people and they're gonna be here Wednesday morning to start prep work. So that means we gotta clear this out between today and tomorrow evening when I get home from work. All right, y'all keep watching and we're gonna start cleaning place up. Ok 
Okay, y'all, check it out. We got it somewhat cleaned out in here. It's pretty good. Ready for those guys to come do their prep work. Put a lot of stuff in here because this is all going to be sealed off. They're not doing anything in there. And then we got the bedroom cleaned up. Same thing, we put stuff in the closets because those are going to be sealed off, not doing anything in there. That's it for tonight, y'all. We'll see you uh, tomorrow. Okay, y'all, here we go. We're going to finish cleaning up the shop today. Get this place emptied out for the insulators tomorrow. I'll keep watching. Let's go back to work. All right, y'all. There you go. We got it cleaned up. We just got to roll these carts out in the morning when those guys get here. And then we'll be ready for spray foaming. Y'all keep watching.